So this is kind of an obtuse story a little bit with lots of secrets, but that's not really new for you, Adam. What draws you to making movies with lots of ambiguity? Uh, the hope that you'll find great actors who can draw out those ambiguities and make them tangible and make them compelling. And so um, it's really, uh, it doesn't exist without without what David brings and especially this particular character. He's very, um, he's very, consumed with a lot of questions and he's he's thinking about them all the time as he's carrying out his food inspections and so there there is dialogue and he has scenes but a lot of the film is just him absorbing these events that keep reeling through his head so i needed a great actor some of you may have heard about my daughter what happened to her what kind of home must she have come from well i can tell you she came from a very loving family my goodness, how can a woman do something like that? Without going into detail, there are elements of my own life, my own childhood, and, and things that happened with my parents that I think my brother, my sister, and myself would remember very differently. I find the older I get, the more unreliable those memories become. I find Atom's films, for that reason, fascinating, and particularly this one, because it is about something crucial that happened long, long ago that is affecting everyone down to the present day. And I... I've realized, which I didn't necessarily realize at the time of making it, that it's something that I, I entirely relate to because it's part of my own life. I think Jim, the David's character, also feels that he's protected his daughter from a, a, from a, from a whole narrative in his life. And the thought that, in fact, she has observed that and has actually absorbed um, a, a narrative different from the one that he thought he safeguarded is is quite horrifying to him. Now that's for the safety of your workers, not to mention the customers. What is the problem with this type? It's not like people enter here inside. Yes, I'm perfectly aware of that. But everything made in here goes out there, and that's who I'm here to protect. I didn't really think about the existence of food inspectors, so therefore I found it fascinating to... Uh, throw myself in there and 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 the, the, yeah the kind of details that, that they look for in in their work there's one particular restaurant i'm just as you're saying now we i remember we 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 went in there and i and i called my my production designer and said you've done an extraordinary job i mean it looks absolutely filthy there's dust everywhere there's 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 grease dripping from the from the shelves and and shockingly said so we didn't do anything <laughs> and, I, and I went no really and I, I said they are aware this is a, f a film about a food inspector and and they were and the the owner actually wanted to be in it and I was just going y y y it's insane maybe grease droppings are allowed I don't know did you ever find that out David did you uh, if grease droppings are allowed to to, to a point <laughs> before it becomes obscene before it before becomes they form the little little volcano yeah, 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 before, like, yeah. before you start hazard. slipping around yeah. <laughs> Something that features prominently in the movie is deep fried rabbit ears. Right. A real Are dish. A real dish? Yes. Would you eat them? Uh, I wouldn't because I, I do love rabbits, as you probably gather from the film. Actually, but I do eat rabbits. Why wouldn't I eat rabbit ears? Um, uh, I, I, I just think I can imagine what the texture would be like, <laughs> and that disgusts me, no end. But it is a dish in the, in the southern states. And I remember when I was shooting once in Atlanta that they were serving them, and um, it just felt shocking like deeply upsetting. Talk about working with the bunny in the movie. Was there just one? The yes. rabbit? <laughs> there was just one, wasn't there? Yeah. There was 44, but we never told. <laughs> uh, uh, we have very you particular... No, 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 we have very particular rules here. A rabbit can't be on set for more than five minutes, so we kept replacing it. I didn't want to tell oh, you because I knew you'd find it upsetting. I'm not a big animal guy, really, on the whole. I don't, I've never... I've only had a rabbit in my whole life, and he escapes. That's another story. Um, but I actually found out, I, I genuinely was very fond of that rabbit because I just had a lot of time sat there just holding him throughout the day and I found him very calming. So, uh, we got a good rating? Yeah, you've done a wonderful job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>